Hello YouTube, thought I'd do a quick video here. Uh, shout out and, and a thank you to Steve from California. He's uh, sending me an SDR dongle. Um, and what that is, is basically it's a fancy frequency scanner. Fancy radio. What I mean by that is, this thing can pick up CB frequencies, uh, FM radio frequencies, airport frequencies, GMRS frequencies, um, just about any frequency you can think of, even digital. Of course, digital, you probably would hear just, you know, bursts of tones. But this thing can pick it up and you'll be able to hear the audio of this. And he sent it to me. He wants me, I, I guess a lot of uh, preppers kind of use this or, you know, for, you know, a good emergency uh, scanner type of situation. So he kind of wants me to do some videos and maybe, you know, build some things or whatnot with it. Um, so at any rate, he's, he sent it to me, and I'm going to you know play with it and, and you know kind of see you know what's this all about. Uh, so I thought you know in the meantime I'll download some software. Now before I show you that, this dongle, what how this is if you're not familiar with this, you plug this in into your USB with a computer. You have to install a driver, and then at the very end there's an SMA connector. And you can get an adapter, you can hook it up to coax, run the coax outside to an antenna. And this thing is a receiver. It receives, it does not transmit. This will receive whatever frequencies you put in there, it will receive it. It can scan them, it can receive them, it can, you can do a lot. There's a whole bunch of free software that you can get that will work with this. This device costs between 20 to 30 bucks, I believe. You can find them on Amazon, you can find them... Uh, probably on eBay, just type I don't know, SDR radio uh, and this picture, you can kind of see the website there too. But uh, but at any rate, that's how this works. So you need a laptop or a desktop, then you can hook up a external antenna and you know see what you hear in your area. Um, they also too, you can connect to other dongles and hear in their area what frequencies are active. There's a server function, I guess, too. I haven't really dug into that part of it that much. But it does a lot of stuff. You, I can I can connect there. There's a map that shows you where all these dongles are at if you have it set up as a server. And people can connect to it, and they can kind of scan and play with the frequencies in your area. I think that's what that all is about. Like I said, I didn't do a lot of reading about that. But there's a lot of functions this thing can do. Now, you don't, just to be clear, to use this... You don't need the internet to receive a signal. You would need internet if you want to connect to another SDR uh, dongle somewhere else. But to use this, you don't need internet. You can just scan without the internet, like 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 you like turning on a radio in your house, like your FM radio. You don't need internet uh, unless you're using an internet radio. But you get what I'm saying here. Your old time radio, you just turn it on, and you didn't need internet. This does not need internet to scan to scan and listen to frequencies. Just to be clear on that. So, at any rate, so that's how you do that. So I decided, well, I'm going to download um, some free software and kind of look at it and kind of play with it. So here's part of it right here. I got my GMRS frequency in here, and I'm kind of playing around. And I kind of thought, you know what? Remember back in the CB days, you had like an S meter on your on your CB radio. Well, GMRS radios don't really have that per se. So I thought, you know, it would be kind of neat to if I could have, when I do my uh, antenna builds and my antenna distance test or my uh, other distance test, if I could have along with the audio, because let's be honest, people don't really care so much about a number. They care about, can I hear you? Can I hear you clearly? Can I make out what you're saying? That's, you know, more importantly than what a number reads you can have a number of five and you could sound really good you can have a number of 20 and sound horrible so it's more about the audio but in my case i like to have a number with it so when i build my antennas i can safely say hey this antenna got 30 this antenna only got 20 so we have a number to go by so this has like an s meter so to speak if you uh, get my fancy pen out here, I got one here, and I got one up here. So, for an example, this, this 
when I have this all set up, it's going to kind of go like this. And then when I start to do, to do it, it's going to go up to here. Okay. And then whichever, you know, um, when you go over to that, it's gonna, that's about 20. So you can read it here or you can read it up here. And that will tell me. So it'll give me a base idea on how much signal the repeater is receiving not transmitting we don't care about that we want receiving because obviously transmitting is going to peg the needle because it's going to be in the same room as the repeater we want it coming into the antenna so my thought is this i have the other coax that's not really good quality but i don't care this thing this sdr does not transmit it just receives i can use my other coax i remember i built that gmrs repeater antenna way back in the summer spring I can use that so my thought is if I can mount my antenna 10 feet below my repeater antenna have this software run on the on the repeater laptop and this way I can have a best of both worlds I can have it play the audio back but then we can we can also see a number when it receives we get two for one I'm hoping that's what my theory is my plan is now we don't care if the antenna I use for this SDR or this SDR is perfect we don't care I don't need it to be oh if you're five feet away from the repeater and you key up I should peg the needle I don't care if it does or don't because that's not the point the point is I want a reading when I'm out five miles away that's all I care about I don't need the antenna to be perfectly tuned if that's what I'm trying to say so we can uh, uh, use that homemade one um, and I'll, I'll get it somewhat tuned I mean I haven't the, the antenna analyzer so I can somewhat tune it we'll get it somewhat tuned you know so it's halfway decent but we'll, we'll maybe mount that like I said 10 feet below the repeater antenna now when I do this we're gonna get two readings though because remember my setup it's a simplex repeater it records and plays back so we want the reading as it's recording or the signal coming into the repeater we don't really care what the signal is going to be when the repeater retransmits it because obviously being 10 feet away with the antenna or, you know with the, the SDR antenna being about 10 feet away from the repeater antenna it's going to peg the needle we don't care about that we want the one coming in that's what we care about so I hope that makes sense so we'll get two readings every time we key up that radio if you follow what I'm talking about it will record we'll get that reading with the numbers and then it's going to play back and that's going to be the repeater which is going to be a full tilt it's going to probably peg the needle on here we don't care about that reading we want the first one so that's what I'm thinking of doing I might be able to run this software on my repeaters uh, laptop which is kind of the beauty of nice about using a laptop I get some people asking well wh why why are you hooking up a GMRS radio to a laptop just get a network radio or just do this or do that well the beauty about doing that is I can run other software besides the repeater software that the network radio cannot run obviously so that's one beauty of it um, so I'm hoping I can run all this. Now you're probably thinking, well, how are you going to be able to get the number when you're in a car five miles away? Well, my thought is TeamView, the remote software that's free that you can connect to a, a laptop. So if I can put that on my tablet, and of course I got to have service, you know, um, cell cellular service to to do all this. But if I'm in an area where there's service. I'm hoping I can connect to it and be able to get the reading as I do the video I can say oh yeah the the iPad says I'm getting a reading of 30 with that antenna and then when I when I switch out antennas and I rekey up rekey up and talk I'm hoping I can see oh yeah that antenna I'm getting 20 there you go that antenna is actually a little higher or that one's a little lower along with the audio that's being played back also so if I can do both that would be really good because like I said before it's more the audio people care about. They don't really care so much about the, the numbers. Like, can I hear you clearly? Are you coming across sounding okay? It's you know obviously a little more important. But I kind of have a number with it to kind of to kind of show people 
you know, hey, we got this along with the audio. And that will kind of help us determine if my antenna is working pretty decent, the ones I build, and, you know, or not. And that can be, I could, I could, uh, you know, do this, do this um, with a mobile or with a, um, or I could make a repeater antenna and hook up it to this SDR and test it and see how much better it's receiving compared to the uh, store button uh, repeater slash base antenna too, for that matter, in the, you know, in the future. So that's what the plan is. Now, keep in mind though, too, is where I live in Wisconsin, it's winter time. I got to put another antenna on the pole. That's not going to be fun because I got to make, I got, I, like I said, I got the coax. I'm going to use one of my GM, I'm going to use that GMRS antenna that I made back in the summer, springtime. I did a video on that. I'm going to use that. That's the good news. The bad news is I got to make a mount. To be able to mount this 10 feet below my repeater antenna. So it's cold here. It's snowing. I don't know. I'll get to it as soon as I can. Maybe I'll get a break in the weather and I can work on this. But uh, hopefully I'll get that uh, dongle in in the next couple of days. So at any rate, that's the plan. Like I say, I don't know if it's going to go the way I want it to go. We're going to try. It's all we can do is try, right? So if you have any questions or comments, please post them down below. Please subscribe. Thank you and have a good day.